I'm back and we are in Atlanta to style a client space. If you don't know me, my name is Britton. My husband's name is Michael. I'm an interior stylist local to the Dallas, Texas area where I also travel to style clients all across the US and I do style client homes virtually as well. I'm gonna take you guys with me 48 hours behind the scenes. Let's go. Good morning. 23 minutes. We're headed to site. We're actually in the car on the way. <laughs> My client is actually going to be at work all Turn weekend, left onto so Pieces Ferry Road Southeast. We pretty much have the whole entire house to ourselves, which makes for a productive visit. So right when we get there, I'm going to start unboxing and just kind of sectioning things off into the rooms. I'll probably give you guys a tour of the space before so that we can have a good before and after. And then we're going to get straight to it. We're going to be on site from... 10 to 4 p.m. today i have a 4 p.m cutoff if we need to go over we can tomorrow same thing but hopefully we'll be done early tomorrow and we won't have to spend the, the whole day on site we'll see how it goes it's really cool to finally see the space in person that you've been working on virtually for months <laughs> so i'm excited to see the space and to just get this project complete Okay, so we are here in my client's townhome. I'm gonna give you guys a quick empty tour. Well, it's not empty, it still has some furniture pieces, but just give you guys kind of like the game plan of what everything is going to be at the end of the project. Starting at the bottom here, I'm gonna go back down. Okay, so this is the townhome that we're styling in Atlanta. Downstairs, we are going to put a canvas up on the entryway, also a mirror up here. Um, and that mirror is right here. This is where some of the boxes are, and we'll have to bring these upstairs. Um, we're waiting on our guy to get here so that he can help with everything. This is the upstairs. We've got some tools and stuff out right now, but love the finishes and the hardware on the kitchen um and then for the living room uh we have the sofa the art piece we're gonna obviously put the tree in there i'll share with you guys where everything is from and most of it will be linked down below as well but yeah this is the living room and then upstairs Bedroom. So this is the project for upstairs. Obviously we're putting the bed together. We're gonna add some curtains, make it feel like really moody and cozy in here. I love, love, love the color of these curtains, you guys. Um, but I'm gonna go downstairs and yeah, we're gonna get started. Everything looks good though. Super excited to put it together. We're also gonna be putting some accessories in the bathroom. Um, and then if I need to run to a couple stores, I'll take you guys with me for like finishing touches, accessories and things like that to make everything look good. I wanna show the mood board so that we can see what the game plan is. This is the mood board and we're gonna put up some curtains. Obviously this canvas is gonna go in the middle of the couch here. The rug we did decide to change. So the rug is a little bit lighter and then we're gonna have a uh, tree here, accessories on the coffee table, pretty simple. She likes a very like minimal, clean look, also very light and airy. Underneath the TV, we're gonna do a floating shelf. A lot of my clients like these floating shelves. I find it to be a safe space, a, a space saver as well. For the bar stools, we did go with these brown leather bar stools. They have some gold hardware on them and also black mainly because the kitchen is very bright and airy. So we want to, um, you know, kind of just be mindful of that and not have everything super white in the space. So ways to break that up would be adding different accents to contrast, darker color. So that's why we went a little bit darker on the bar stools. And then the entryway, how I showed you guys the entryway, we'll have this canvas there, a mirror, and also a hook. It's very practical. And lastly, we did change the rug of the bedroom, um, but everything else is pretty much the same. I'm really excited for the bedroom transformation, mainly because the bedroom looks a lot smaller in person. So yeah, it's interesting though, and you'll see once we transform the space that a lot of spaces actually look 
bigger once there's furniture inside. So um, I love these curtains as I showed you guys earlier. And yeah, that's the full project. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And um, we're gonna start taking some of these boxes um, to where they're supposed to be and just getting organized before our helper gets here. This looks really good already. Adding in those layers of brown really help. So we have the brown coffee table, the wood. I'm actually gonna put these pillows together, um, put the lamp together, and also the tree as well. Looking so good already. I love that the hardware and the browns that we chose kind of work well together. The floating media stand is a little bit darker than this table, but I think it'll balance it off nicely. Wanted to do a quick Amazon haul for you guys. So um, coffee table books are from Amazon and then I just layered it with this wooden link from Amazon. Um, and then these pillow covers, I love the textures and the colors on them. We're adding in these touches of brown to kind of neutralize the space so it's not so stark white or bright because we do have a lot of lights in the space. So I wanted to make sure that I contrast it well with like brown or warmer tones. Um, so yeah, I am going to fill them with these pillow inserts also from Amazon. Quick hack, if you don't know it already, is to purchase pillow inserts from Amazon. They come vacuum sealed like this, but they usually pop up over time or you can throw them in the dryer. But, um, so you'll purchase a size up. So let's purchase, let's say you purchase 20 by 20 um, pillow cover, then you would purchase a 22 by 22 insert to make it feel a little bit more luxurious and just like fuller inside of the pillow cover. These are down feather inserts. So they do the little chop and they look really, um luxurious a little more expensive than if you were to get like a cotton fill that kind of looks a little bit more stiff so that's a little pillow hat so i'm gonna set up the pillows and then we'll move on to the tree the tree is going to go in this planter over here and then also we gotta hang up um babe is working on the curtains and yeah Pillows are on. Looks so good. Already looks better with some brown added in there. Love it. The tree is super tall, which is good. We didn't want it to be super small because this planter is really big. It fits, but it's just the opening. This is the wrong side. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> I was like, what is he over here stressed out? <laughs>
Okay, things are going super good inside. I am going to run by the gas station and just get like a light snack. We do have another guy working with us here. He's working upstairs on the bedroom. My husband is working mainly in the living room. So we're working really, really fast. I think we can actually be done by today. So that's why we don't wanna take like a super long break for lunch. So I'm just gonna run up to the gas station really quick and then come back and we can finish off. Hopefully we'll be done around 6 p.m. today. I do have a photographer coming tomorrow. Yeah, I wanna try to be done with everything by 2 p.m. tomorrow. That means Saturday is probably gonna be a much earlier start than we started today so that I could get everything done. But yeah, it's coming together nicely. Her style is super minimal, as you guys can probably tell, super simple. Yeah, it looks beautiful so far, so I'm excited for the final results. I am exhausted from traveling, and I've been standing on my feet, so my feet hurt, but small break and then back to work. <laughs> So as I stated earlier, this is like the perfect color to contrast with. And so we've done that with the pillows, but now we're doing it in the kitchen. I love these bar stools. They look so good. I do too. Yeah, they look really good. Um, and this is the hardware good thing for she the bar stool. Cat. I know. <laughs> Zara would tear these up. If you have a cat, you already know leather is a no-go. But to see how the bar stools look and Stairs. I'm going to show you guys a quick haul of the bedroom things that I purchased from Amazon. So a lot of like bedding, pillows, accessories, things like that are really good from Amazon. So I got these super big fluffy pillowcases. Love the texture, love the lines. Actually the ottomans, I'll show you guys here in a second that I sourced from my client has similar lines as this does. But just really like add some coziness and texture to the bed which we really wanted to do she wanted this to feel very moody while still feeling feminine this is also a blanket it comes packaged so cute so i'm gonna throw this over the bed this is really heavy too really good quality adds in again some of these browns and creams that's really the color palette i got my usual that I normally get for the bed. Duvet cover, duvet, everything is here. Oh, these curtains. One of my favorites because I love the color of these curtains. Like this super pretty brown. It's gonna look really good hung up. And these are blackout curtains, so it'll make it super, super cozy in here. But this color is just really, really beautiful. I thought about doing a trap curtain but we've decided to stick to the curtain rod but I think these are gonna make a huge difference in the bedroom yep and we got four panels of these I think that's pretty much it for the bedding don't mind my hair y'all get a little crazy but that's all right okay This is better. This canvas is also from Amazon, which I thought was really cute. Super affordable as well. Come in like different canvas options. If you have a small bedroom, this would be perfect for you. The two of them, we thought about putting two of them, but one works really, really well. So Amazon is a game changer, you guys. Do a tree in this planter here, um, in this corner and kind of bring it forward a little bit. These were the uh, ottomans I was telling you guys about. I'm not really sure that I love them in here though. So we'll see how they look, how well they work in here. If they don't work in here, then I can always um, 
see what they look like downstairs in the living room, but we'll see. Um, let's do it down a little bit. One more lamp to go, and then I'm going to pick up all this trash in here. Curtains are up. Okay, this is what the room is leaving off like. Of course, we don't have the sheets yet. Um, still need some light bulbs, but love the brown curtains and this tree in the corner. Kind of helps make things cozy. These benches at the end. I mean, these ottomans. Um, so far, okay. so good. We are finished with the first part. This is how the living room is coming together. Curtains on this side. Kitchen that way. Curtains on that side. Mounted TV stand good and these bar stools looks really good in the kitchen definitely would love a cutting board right here and some accessories but overall came together nicely did order a, a runner we'll see if it gets here in time tomorrow to show you guys but yeah, one day install. And now we just add accessories. On the furniture. Good morning. Good morning. We are headed, we're headed to Home Goods. TJ Maxx, Target, um, to finish up accessories. This is day two of the install. Um, we got a lot done last night, as you can see. So really all that's needed is accessories. I want to take some professional pictures today at 2 p.m. So um, it's 11 a.m. right now. So we have about three hours. Take you guys with us to shop for the accessories. And then when we get back um, to my client's house, then I'll show you kind of like how I'm styling everything. Um, yeah. Hey. Got the goods from Hobby Lobby. I mean, we got the goods from Home Goods TJ Maxx. Probably share with you guys what all we got whenever I get back. Kind of rushing just a little bit, but um, excited to share with you guys the end result. Yeah, I think yeah. we got pretty good time, but. Oh, Rush, it's 11.46. Our photographer gets there. Two. two. Yeah, we good. We got time. Yeah, I don't because know. Because after um, well, Hobby Lobby, where, where else do we have to go? We're going straight there. I have to find everything else at Hobby Lobby. That's cool. How many more things do you need? Uh, Hobby Lobby, <laughs> please don't fail me. The leaves are falling. Hobby Lobby run was semi a success. Um, we'll see how we can style some of these items. But I think for the most part, we got everything that we needed from Hobby Lobby. So now we're headed back to my client's home. I can do nothing apart from you. No, no. Just made it back to my client's home. And I'm going to do a really, really quick unboxing with you guys. I literally have 30 minutes to set all this up before I have to start taking some pictures of the space. Um, so, really quick recap of what we purchased coming right up. A quick haul. I purchased this tree from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has a lot of good, like, small trees. They had a lot of ones for, like, $30. And this planter was $25. So, we're going to place this towards the entryway. TJ Maxx, Home Goods, 
purchased this vase which I think is super pretty. I'm gonna put this on this floating shelf here. Also from TJ Maxx, beautiful bookends. They're just this marble, really pretty design to it. Marble, and then it has like the whites and the browns that are also in the interiors here. I felt like that matched really well. The other end, it's a little bit different, which I like the, like, the difference in the detail. My client likes to travel, so I felt like this was a good coffee table book that I can add to that console. As complicated it is to purchase accessories after you've already designed a space, working with like limited options in store is like a certain level of concentration. So a lot of times when I go in the store, I'm like, like going crazy a little bit. Yesterday at West Elm, I spent like an hour in there and I only found this. I found this really pretty bowl, which I'm excited about. And I'm gonna put some moss balls in here. Moving right along from Hobby Lobby, I also found some cutting boards that I want to layer. A lot of these accessories, my client is going to see if she likes them. The little $5 book, like a storage option inside, I think it's just good to add. This is the moss that I'm adding to all of the planters, including this entryway of plant. I also purchased this moss as well. These balls are going to go inside of this bowl. So, which I think was such a good choice. So now I'm going to style and kind of accessorize with what I have. The kitchen runner arriving. I don't know if it's gonna make it in time for me to take all my pictures, but we shall see. You are the vine, we are the branches. I can do nothing apart from you. Giver of life. And here this is what we picked up from Target obviously my client needs to add her mirrors in here um, but very simple and flowers I tried to get something that looked fall um, to me this looks pretty fall and here's a look at how the entryway turned out with the canvas and the mirror here also the hook in the plant as i'm reflecting on the year 2023 i'm super grateful for all of my clients who consistently trust me with the intimacy of their home and thank you all so much for those of you who are supporting and tagging along virtually if you're looking to have your space style definitely check out the description box down below and for links to all of the items seen in this video in the next video, I'll be showing a full townhome tour. Comment down below and let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!